As you can see from the poster that I have in the background again, I'm going to be opening more Chilling Rain. Today, I got both of the Elite Trainer boxes. Of course, they keep printing two, so you gotta buy at least two. So I'm gonna open these up, show you guys what's inside, and then I will open all 16 packs. I'll open this up. So this is not my normal setup right now, but this is what I got today for this video. So this is the Shadow Rider Calyrex uh, box. Looks pretty cool. Not necessarily my favorite. Good looks nonetheless. Here are our eight packs. And you got the rule book, you got the condition counters, you got your dividers, you got your energy. And here is a code for the ETB online. Here are the sleeves. I do think I prefer the purple ones, but I'm not really gonna be using these sleeves anyway. Oh, and I almost forgot the dice. So, oh, I actually really like these. I don't like numbered dice, but I really like the colors on these and I like the big one. I have all of the Elite Trainer Box dice in a little Pokemon marble pouch. I use that to keep my dice collection in and use as the counters when playing the TCG. So now we are going to open the Ice Rider box. To be honest, I did open one of these off camera already, but don't worry, there is nothing crazy in there that anyone missed out on. Here's another eight packs, all the same stuff. Here's another code. I'll be giving out the codes for these packs through this video, so let me know in the comments if you get anything good from them. All right, so here we go. Shadow Rider versus Ice Rider. Let's see if either of these are going to give me some good pulls. The ETBs lately, like the entire Sword and Shield era, haven't been very lucky, uh, but I did see something poking out of this first pack right here. So let's see what we got. Metal Energy, Scroll, Avery, Thwacky, Venipede, Bounsweet, Lapras, Blitzel, Aaron, looks like there's really something in here. So reverse Porygon and a Zero Aura V, yes. I already have this, but I love this card so much. Oh man, okay, well that's a hit right there, right away, first pack, first box. Hopefully that's not the only ultra rare that I'll be getting. But yeah, not a new binder edition, but still a beautiful and useful card nonetheless add that into the pile of zero auras that i hope to have one day got a lucky energy and a zangoose i'm still searching for a alternate art card uh, literally any of them i do believe that the v maxes are harder to get than the regular v's in terms of the alternate arts and pull rates and whatnot, but that's just, you know, what I've seen online. I haven't pulled any alt arts yet, but I still have gotten some pretty cool cards. Um, not my chase cards yet, but you know, I think I'm just gonna keep opening until I get at least, I don't know, like the gold Snorlax is really what sells a set for me right now uh, in the Zero Auras, but Man, I don't know, Aeron and Obama Snow. So once I can pull an actual chase card, I will cool down with buying the set as sealed product because eventually it's gonna get down to, I only don't have the like very rare cards, uh, very expensive cards at that. Uh, so then opening the packs won't be that beneficial. Here we go. We got a hollow single strike Urshifu. So that's hit number two out of the first box. There's still three packs left of this Shadow Rider Calyrex. Speaking of Calyrex, I've only pulled one of them so far and I've opened over a hundred packs by now. Um, but I got Raboot. Uh, I got a... What was I gonna say? I got, I think, a Shadow Rider regular Ultra Rare V, but not like a Full Art or a V Max or anything like that. The cards that I've pulled the most of from this set for Ultra Rares are definitely the Galarian Moltres and the Celebi. I've gotten quite 
a few of those already, but it's cool. I mean, I can use as many Moltreses as I can get, basically. Got a Reverse Crabominable and a Walrein. Okay, so this is the last pack of the first ETB. I think these two hits, I mean, like, that, that's kind of normal. For ETBs, I would say two white codes. It sucks, but, like, it's- that's average, and oof, look at the quality on this. This is- this is the rare back here, and it's got this, like, huge amount of whitening right there. Oh god. Oh god, let's see what that is. Got gloves, Lucky Energy, Oregon 2, Deli Bird, Larvesta, Mareep, Heracross, Clobopus, Reverse Drizzile, and let's see what that beat-up card is. Ah, uh, okay, it just said Zebstrika, Crisis Averted. So let's get into the second Elite Trainer Box. Um, so all my ETBs will have, like, one Ultra Rare in them. Um, that's been how it is for the regular, the regular sets, as opposed to, like, Shining Fates. Obviously, you get a lot of pulls in those ETBs, because it's different. Ooh, a Reverse Rare Weavile and a Passimian. This is pretty cool, so I'm gonna include that as a hit for the box, even though that was not a white code pack code. I feel like it used to be like three hits was the average in an ETB. Uh, but things have changed a little bit. So we got Reverse Scolipede and then a Rapid Strike Urshifu with Insane Hollow Bleed as most of these cards do have. So I got both of the Urshifus. I got the, the Single Strike Dark one in the Shadow Rider box. And then I got the Rapid Strike Water in the in the Ice Rider. I think I think that's pretty cool. Energy, Brawly, Celio, Clara, Diglett, Score Bunny, Shuppet, Cubfu, Blitzel, Reverse Abstrika Rare, and a Saviper. I think that these are actually the last couple of products that I need to open. Uh, that came out with the release of this set. I will be opening the V Strikers tins, although the ones I got don't have Chilling Rain in them. But we'll see what happens because I actually didn't get the Tyranitar tin, so I gotta find that. And then maybe that version will have Chilling Rain. Got a Cinderace and another Galarian Moltres. Oh my god. So I have like four or five of these by now, but... There is our first hit from that box, and we got a very good Reverse Rare Cinderace. It'd be really awesome to see another Ultra Rare, please, in this box. Um, but I don't think I've gotten anything new so far. Um, you know, maybe a Reverse was, was new, but um, none of the hits. Got Reverse Curlia, and then a Kecleon. Three packs left. And then I do have to find the single pack, the ones with the promo and the coin. And then I think that that will be everything uh, for the release that happened on June 18th. And then I'll just be kind of opening like doubles of things, you know, just to get the packs, see what I can get. Really want to get like these crazy expensive cards. Okay, so there's actually another ultra rare in here. Can't even think of the ones that I still need. I do need the, the Blaziken um, regular V and the V Max. That's kind of all I can think of right now. I got crushing gloves and another Zero Aura. Oh my god. I love that actually. I was literally just saying that I could use a pile of these, so I won't complain. Again, not a new card, but it is very good. This poster wants to come down now, and here is the very last pack. Very unlikely that there's gonna be a hit in here. So that Ice Rider one wasn't bad. I got three white codes um, and two very awesome ultra rares with that. So got a Reverse Larvesta and then the last card of today's video is a Doug Trio. So in total, these are the shiny cards of note. I think it's kind of crazy that both of those boxes had the Zero Aura. So that was my two ETBs of Chilling Rain. Thank you guys so much for watching. Check out some other videos that should be popping up on the screen right now. I have a very big opening coming soon, so make sure that you're subscribed and you will see me in the next video.